We're back here at Tiger Stadium in Centralia, but we might not be done quite yet. So this is the first year this has been known as the Chronicle Cup. The Bearcats, they knocked off Centralia in penalty kicks in their first match in Chehalis. The Centralia Tigers knocked off the Bearcats here tonight in penalty kicks. And there's a discussion if they're going to do one more penalty kick shootout. And it looks like we will do one more penalty kick shootout to determine who wins the Chronicle Cup. This is all being made on the fly. We're trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. And it looks like we are going to have one more set of PKs to determine who takes home the Chronicle Cup. So just so you know, standings-wise, this next part doesn't really mean anything. Standings-wise, this won't go on into the standings. This is just for pride, for bragging rights with this rivalry matchup. What an absolute thriller of a night. And let's go ahead and take this down. So 2 1 Centralia gets the win. They get the win in the league play. They get the win in the standings. This is just to determine who takes home the Chronicle Cup. And if you saw on our Twitter, we retweeted the Chronicles tweet of the picture of the trophy, and it is absolutely massive. So both schools definitely want to take that home for the new year. What a thrilling night. Now we're just going to do stuff on the fly. <laughs> So here we go. I believe we have Chad Taylor out there, the owner of the Chronicle, setting things up. We have Eric Trent out there as well, sports director at the Chronicle. So we're going to decide who wins. The Chronicle Cup here, the first ever Chronicle Cup. Who gets to take home the trophy? We're still trying to figure things out. It'll be, it looks like Cameron Coon's taking the first shot. So this is just made on the fly. I don't think there are plans of this happening. Carlos Hernandez did save three of the four shots in the first penalty kick shootout tonight. How will he do in the second? Cameron Coons. Fires that one, and that's good. Bearcats strike first, one nothing. Just so you know, the officials have left, so the coaches out there trying to run this one. So we get set for the second, or the first shot for Centralia. It'll be Steven Neely. He started things in the first set of PKs. Neely approaches against Hayden Sierra. And Neely goes the other way this time. It's 1-1. So 
So 1-1 one, one after a round here for the Chronicle Cup. Who's taking home that trophy? Gideon Priest will shoot next for the Bearcats. Priest will set it up. Here's shot number two. Priest nails it. It's 2 on Bearcats. That was a perfectly placed shot. I think it, even if Hernandez guesses the right way, he doesn't have a chance at that one. That was just picture perfect. Once again, we have the mystery man, number 38 for Centralia. Trying to see if we can pick up a name cheered out by the students or the parents. Here we go, shot number two. That's good, it's two, two through two. So we go to round number three. Here we go, up next for the Bearcats, Charles Comiskey. Starting round number three, Comiskey approaches. Got it, 3-2 Bearcats. And the life coming back into both these teams. <laughs> There's a little bit of a lack of energy to start this one, but both these teams have gotten fired up and the crowd getting fired up because of it as well. Kilmer. Alberto Gabarete shoots next. So here we go. Now will Gabarete fair here in round number three. He approaches, fires that one. Good, just kept it inside. It's 3-3. We're headed to round number four. It'll be Adrian Jaimez for the Bearcats. What a what a night. We <laughs> just got an update on our baseball game on ESN. Black Hills and Aberdeen finishing to a 6-6 tie because of darkness. It's just chaos going on in high school sports here tonight. Round number four, Adrian Jaimez. He approaches. Fires that one good, 4-3 Bearcats. Ryan Oriana Gomez gonna shoot here at round four for the Tigers. Here we go. That one fired, and Sierra deflected it, but it stayed in. Off the post, it's 4-4 headed into round number five. Here we go. It's going to be Damian Hernandez taking the shot for the Bearcats. Here we go. Hernandez approaches. Good, it's 5-4. A must make for Centralia. Kevin Reyes Gomez. Excuse me, that's 20. That'd be Alan Cox who scored the goal in regulation in the match for Centralia. He's gonna try to send this to 
overtime for the penalty kicks. Cox approaches. Chips that one, and we are even 5-5. It's time for overtime penalty kicks. Just when you think there might be a winner, we're not quite done yet. It'll be Isaac Madrigal taking this one. Now each round could be the final round. Isaac Madrigal approaches. Fires that one and Carlos Hernandez with the stop. And a chance for the Tigers to take home the Chronicle Cup. It'll be Daryl Newert looking to win it. Daryl Newert for the win and the cup. Got it! The Centralia Tigers take home the Chronicle Cup over the WF West Bearcats. What a night. An absolute thriller. Ends with the Centralia Tigers celebrating and they will take home the trophy. What a match here tonight. Great penalty kicks. Two penalty kick shootouts. The second one going to overtime. And it's Centralia that gets to take home the Chronicle Cup trophy for the first time. 